Hello. Morning, Morning and welcome to Darwin. This is our Darwin episode. So, um, sit back and enjoy the ride. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll show you. Much. We'll show you what we're going to get up to in Darwin. Yep. Enjoy. Yep. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> That's a big snapping handbag. That's my old ship. Good old HMAS Canberra. Now we're watching the sunset. Mm. What's it like? Oh, it's quite pretty. Two random strangers doing what you love you Hmm. Beautiful. Laksa. Honey chicken. What do you got? Dead fried noodle. Dead fried noodle. Oh. Yummo.
The Tisha and Rhonda are going down the individual slides. So you'll see them come out in a second. Lean year, lean year recreation park in Darwin. Pretty good. Swim? Oh, this one's better than the other one because you can swim. And free. Zero. Zero dollary dues. So uh, really good. Good. Um, you should come back for you if you had to come back and do a sausage sizzle. It's barbecue. Yeah. Uh -huh. Beautiful spot. Oh, well done, Darwin. We're having the sunset and to the city. Still waking up. Hi. Woke up at six. Drawing my, drawing my speech. Woke up at six o'clock. Got dressed. Came out in. And now the first thing we do is uh, go get coffee. We're going to go into this guy. Yeah. 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 So we're seeing today. What are we doing? We've got a um, helicopter flight. Two river jet boats. Two river jet boats and then a big boat that we go on to. Big and boat. And swim and a barbecue and a bus we ride. We swim, we barbecue, we bus ride. We're only swimming when there's no crocs. Yeah. I mean, there's salties, mate. And I don't think they'll be as safe. I mean, they can't really just put a barrier on there and go swimming in. There's no crocs there. No, that's a, um, so Matt Wright does rescue crocodiles as well that uh, are still in the wild, but rescued and looked after so they can be not further maimed. Yeah, they're not, so they're still in, they're still in the river, but they're not out deep, deep into the wild, so. Bone cruncher. Now, bone cruncher is a pretty special sort of crocodile. Special for probably two reasons. One, you can't really see it there, but he's missing a pretty big section of his jaw. The fact he's even alive and he's actually thriving is pretty incredible. So that's one reason he's sort of special. The other reason he's special is because you can actually get out in the water with this fella and give him a cuddle. Um, Are you going to show him? Yeah. How much? <laughs> Oi. He's pretty cool. You can call him up to the boat and carry on. Oi, come on. You going to come out here or what? You make me walk in there. Oi! Oi! Come on! Oi! 
Because you want to borrow it. <laughs> so, this one here, um, definitely him. With all those injuries and all the, all the sort of work we put into him, we sort of come to a bloody crossroads with him one day where we decided we'd get out in the water and you know, see if we could sort of interact with him. And uh, after a long time of doing that, we sort of tamed him, for lack of a better word. <laughs> Matt's trained him up, if you can train a wild animal. And uh, he's pretty incredible. So, you give it... Well, you, got, you got static, you just gave me left it off. <laughs> um, you can give him a pat on the nose. A lot of the time you can call him out when it's a bit later in the day, he's a bit more excited to see you. He's got a bit more energy. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh. <gasps> um, where'd he go? Anyone see him? No. <laughs> as long as you can see him. <laughs> Deadly fish and sunnies. Come on, Mike. You've never done this before, eh? Right? Stay down this one. You see his tail up here, you might be able to pull him around from the back here. In the... Where's his tail? Right. Behind the tree. Behind the tree there. He's coming towards you oh, now. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Big rig. <laughs> um, yeah, so he is quite cold, especially like, you know, it's morning. He's just gone through a pretty cold night. And it, like I was saying, it's hot during the day, but if you need that consistency, still easily break it. Like he doesn't have the good downward pressure that he normally would have, but he has enough. He'd still break my arm. He would not let go, drag me in the water until I drown or start death roll and rip my arm off, something like that. So he's still a very dangerous animal. I doesn't want to play the game today. How he's sitting like that with his head above the water, um, you see that a lot in crocodiles doing that. Pretty much, if you can see uh, that part of their head, you can sort of get a pretty good, a pretty rough estimate of how a large actual crocodile is. You take a rough estimate from the tip of the nose to the back of the crown, times that number by seven, that'll give you the length of the crocodile. With all these injuries, he is quite a uh, vulnerable crocodile, as I was just saying. Other, oh other croc attacks. Now, you can see his tail here, it's sort of the wrong side. So you can flip it around. See where he's lost 300 off there? Mm. That big scar. He's actually got a big slit out of it just here. Just there. Now that slit there is a recent a recent injury. He's also got a pretty significantly bunged up right leg. Also very recent. Sort of, he lives up here with these small crocodiles so that he's a bit safer. Big fellas come through here, he's got to leave. He, know, he knows he can't fight. The big fellas don't know his handicap and they want to chew him just out of aggression.
And then you saw your sea legs out. <laughs> Fish out. Get it off the hook for me. <laughs> the no, we'll let him have the lure then. <laughs> oh, lost it. Nah, nah bloody weed. <laughs> it's weed. Lots of weed. Yep. Oh, damn it. Oh, nice. For us, that's a big animal. Look how big it is. I'll go in, yeah. It's more the snakes you'll be worried about, Nick. Oh, the mozzies. Oh, yeah, the mozzies will get you too. Mozzies will kill you. What is that? <laughs> how, how, like gorgeous, aren't they? Gorgeous? Yeah, look at the Freaking dinosaur, mate. I know, but look at the... <laughs> gorgeous is the no, no. I wouldn't say gorgeous. <laughs> Evil. Terrifying. No, Maybe. Look. <laughs> Only aggressive should provoke, you know, like... Cool hat, by the way. Yeah, it's a ripper. It does love a hat. Awesome. <laughs> 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 oh, don't God. learn from us. Yeah. <laughs> We're not doing it right. Yeah, it that sweet art. Well, well done. done. Yes. Do you know where he is? I've no idea. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> that was oh, fun. Oh, dear. Oh, shit. He's big. Oh, he's big. Oh, Oh, he's big. Oh, Up on you There's a tree. Yeah. yeah, it looks like it. Here's your worst nightmare. You've got to come out the gate. Yeah. Bring him out for a walk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone got their dog leaf? Does he normally come this far out? Nah, he's this is. He hasn't come out this far in a while. Go You've got to go back and get your thongs yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're stunning. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. What happened to his tail? 
Is it missing some of it or? The guy's left his crocs in here. Don't distract me. Oh, I'll bring him closer. Look at the back end. Oh. 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 He might be actually hungry today. Yeah, he's definitely worth it. Yeah, but there's another one hanging over in that tree, by the way. Is it? Not a cross, a, a bird. So how big's he? He'd be five. You've got to get something for doing all that effort, yeah. So snap that pig leg's absolutely nothing to him. Oh, oh he's yeah. already eaten it. Oh, it's gone. Oh. <laughs> I think he wants some more. How's the manners on the fella? <laughs> Right, oh, so we've done airboat, uh, river cruise, croc feeding, and now I'm going for a spin in this. Should be good. This is awesome. Friggin' unreal tour. <laughs> safari tents and whatnot here all over there bloody amazing place we're gonna have a swim and some beers on the butt on the deck want to get out of that pool. No. What an awesome day. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing adventure. Absolutely recommend doing this. Matt, right. Explore the wild. Yep. To the day safari. Tour. We would have loved to have stayed in the safari tents tonight. Oh, spewing we didn't now. <laughs> Didn't want to get out of that pool. We just sat there drinking beers or lava. Anyway. Back into town. Happy Northern Territory Day. It's, North, it's Territory Day today, after it was postponed from earlier in the year. So there's a big, um, big to-do down at Mindel Beach tonight. So that's where we're heading now. Fireworks, markets, 
food. Nom, 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 nom. Great stuff, yeah, blah, 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 but you must need that. What is it ever about the markets? I mean, we're being careful. This is about that amazing experience. It was just definitely recommended. We'll talk about it when we get back to the caravan park. Oh, yeah. We put stickers on our new water bottles now. Love the music. Yeah. <laughs> you do? Yeah. Top Gun, mate. Top Gun. Look at our own Tom Cruise classes. Kakadu National Park and we're just out tiki touring around having a bit of an explore today in our new jalopy she's in for a GVM upgrade next week to tow the caravan <laughs> all right we're heading out to K Hills Crossing welcome to K Hills Crossing yeah, listen, I'm in a dress and I got my Tuesday undies on and I got my thongs on what? if right yeah it can't be any rock climbing now all that no, no, it's just a we're yeah, just going for a walk down to the uh, the road crossing, and that's where all the crocodiles assemble. And get um, some barramundi. Yeah, they get chomping on some barramundi. <laughs> so exciting day! Gonna go check it out.
great deal happening as far as crocodiles eating fish but perhaps because they're not as hungry but they certainly were on the move there was 10 maybe 11 that we could definitely see they were pretty docile though weren't they yeah i think it was more about perhaps just moving with the tide against the tide so a pig leg out there and they'll be interested maybe maybe they all ate yesterday uh, yeah, impressive in how they came down, ducked under. Other than that, that crap out of me. <laughs> uh, other than that, no, no fish were consumed by crocodiles from what we saw. Yeah, bit of a bummer. Yeah, so no big takedowns. That was a bit of a disappointment. Oh well, <laughs> we did it. We ticked the box. We've been to Kakadu. And that's pretty much all we're planning on doing in Kakadu. <laughs> yeah, well, at this stage, unless we happen to spend a couple more weeks in Darwin, then who knows what we'll do. Yeah, so you're probably wondering why we're in this car. So we, uh, we're having car issues uh, with the patrol. Um, it was just cutting out on the highway, and um, so we took it to Nissan. And there's a problem in the fuel system somewhere, and so it's been in there for a week. <coughs> and God knows how much longer. Uh, still waiting on some technical advice to come back from Nissan Australia about it. So in the meantime, we're cruising around in our little jalopy. Mm-hmm. For well, only until ne today, um, two days. Yeah, well, it's both the Thursday. We, the, um, we're supposed to get the car back, our car, so we'll find out what's going on with it. In the meantime, we are hoping to get out of Darwin at some stage this week. Or we could be stuck here for six weeks. <laughs> I know that. We'll maybe have to stop our long service leave for that. Put the t-shirt in school and we'll go back to work. <laughs> Get some cash. Righto. Check in later. Yep. Say bye. Bye. Happy Father's Day, coming to you from Darwin, Mindle Beach. I got Crocs for me for Father's Day today, so I'm officially a daggy dad with the moustache and everything. Have you had a go? Yummy Father's Day lunch dessert, and you got it all over your face, mate. Yummy. Oh, we're out here. Being Terry tourist, so uh, it, it's good today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's slowing down on the hill. This big bucket of ass is slowing it down. Good afternoon and welcome to Berry Springs. A bit of a swim in the warm pools today, see how it compares to what are the other ones we've been to? Mataranka. Mataranka and Bitter. Um, Bitter Springs. Taking us back a few years last time we were here. Oh yeah, we haven't this is where we come for one of our very first dates. Mm. Rhonda and I, we hired a chimney and come out here. That was all, I don't know, about 40 odd years ago. Well, oh, don't I look good? <laughs> hey, how are you going? It's beautiful here. Oh, you can 
can see my amazing swimmer suit because it's clear water. Alrighty, that is, what is it? Berry, Berry Springs. <laughs> Berry Springs. Tick. Got it ready, Berry Springs. Tick. <laughs> Alright, let's get moving. <laughs>